So can you please identify yourself? Yeah, my name is Barry Knight, and I'm uh, pretty much an autonomous activist. And today we are here in front of the Federal Reserve. It is the 100th anniversary of the Federal Reserve Act that Woodrow Wilson signed into law on this date, 1913. And why are you here tonight? What's, what's the big issue that you want to bring to the front? Well, most Americans, when they think of Federal Reserve and the Board of Governors, terms like governors and federal leads people to believe that this is a government agency, when in fact it is not. It is a private institution or a corporation. And by the very definition of a corporation, its sole purpose to exist is to maximize profits. Okay, they don't care about the socioeconomic impacts. All they care about is making money despite their mandate. Now, we've seen constant abuses throughout the past hundred years. Most recently, we saw a big meltdown in 2008 that I'm sure we're all well aware of by now. We still have families being thrown out of their the homes thanks to illegal foreclosures. Now, this was approved, given the green light by the Federal Reserve. And what a credit default swap is. They just started handing out mortgages left and right. Here, have a mortgage. Take one for your brother. Take one for your mother. Here, no credit, bad credit, doesn't matter. Here, have a mortgage. Now, the reason they did that, you'd think a banking institution would not give mortgages to people that aren't reliable or have bad credit or for whatever reason. But they did because they knew they were going to make money on it because they were not going to be holding those mortgages very long. They took all these bad mortgages and they bundled them up. And then they sold them to their low and mid-level investors as a good investment, as a way, hey, you're going to make a killing, great investment, best investment you ever made. Okay? Now, when all this collapses, they're not holding the bag. Their investors are. And they're not the ones getting thrown out on the streets. The one they sold these, these mortgages to are the ones that are going to be in the streets, tens of thousands of families. Now, that's just one um, example of their corruption that's been perpetrated by the Federal Reserve. How did the Federal Reserve uh, facilitate the uh, credit default swap through the banks? How did that happen? Or was that part of the Glass-Steagall uh, gutting of the Glass-Steagall Act? The repeal of the Glass-Steagall Act allowed these banks to uh, take, to do just that. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to word that a little bit better. But yeah, the repeal of the Glass-Steagall Act took away a lot of the regulations that were imposed on banks before and pretty much let it operate as a casino up after that point. Mm -hmm. Now, just like a casino, the house always wins. Okay? They're going to make money regardless. And anyone who goes in there is going to lose money. Or, in this case, their homes. Again, tens of thousands of families have lost their homes due to illegal foreclosures. They don't even know who holds the original title in a lot of these things because it's been traded off so many times and bundled up and given us, I mean, it's been traded from one bank to the other to another investor to another investor, and they don't even know who holds the original title. So, what does the Federal Reserve have to do with TARP? How, how did they influence TARP? Uh, yeah, you're talking about the $700 billion bailout? Yeah, 700. Yeah. Well, most Americans hear that and they get upset that we bailed out the banks after they right, created so this. You the man in charge says you got to go down. You gotta go down right, that's what I explained to you. As long as you stay behind the balance, you can do what you have to do on that side, but you have to stay behind the balance. Yeah, but the background noise sir, is a little sir, tough there. Yeah, yeah, here so you just gotta go. We have no problem with working with you. We I didn't even get yeah. to sir. quantitative easing yet. Sir. You guys know what quantitative easing is? Sir, in, yeah. in order for you to do what you need to do, you got to have a permit. You don't have a permit. I'm letting you know you need to stay behind the ballot. That's all I ask you. Back up My behind the ballot. Is the first Come on, the back behind the ballot. Bring them this no way. Law. Come on, sir. I'm walking with you. Get your hands off. Get your hands off. Sir, sir, sir. Be cooperating. Cooperating. The Federal sir. Reserve isn't cooperating. The Federal Reserve is bankrupting sir, our economy, throwing people ballot, out on sir. the street, Nobody's pumping up $85 billion we into our economy, making we're, our we're, money we're just more or less. We just we're we're just doing our job. Don't, don't back up. You know what? Just doing our job. Those are words of cowards. Watch Those the are the most four cowardly words yep. in the English language. Yep. Just doing my job. These folks yep. are yep. just doing their job you're fine. because you're, you're cowards the you're behind the balance you don't realize the, the impacts so that this going to have what are they going to have what what's going to happen when your pension is sucked up by these corporate cabal of bankers oh, what's going to happen when your life savings is taken away 
like so many life savings of so many people. Pensioners, Officer, elderly, did you want to make a comment? unemployed, unions, no, no comment. schools. There is no end to their corruption. They have ripped off so many people. And it's not going to stop as long as people just continue to just do their job. Okay, no problem. I can give it to you. Do you do you have a picture ID? Can I see your picture ID? Can I see your picture ID? Can I see your picture ID? Let me ask you a question, Barry, to finish the interview. You were talking about quantitative easing a minute ago. Oh yes. Um, and we were talking about TARP. <coughs> Could you explain how TARP and quanti quantitative easing has hurt the taxpayer, or if it has? Absolutely. TARP, seven hundred billion dollar bailout. Seven hundred billion dollars is absolutely nothing. Quantitative easing. They've been pumping in eighty-five billion dollars a year into our economy. Now, most Americans that don't understand it, and I'll be perfectly frank, I don't completely understand it. It's meant to not to be understood by a layman. But what this does, it pumps $85 billion into the economy, but the majority of this gets sucked up right up to the top. And meanwhile, with all that extra money being added into the economy, it makes the dollars that we all have worth even less. Mm -hmm. So, in effect, as I understand it, there was a $700 a $700 billion TARP bailout in 2008, which is uh, ex the last of which will be expended by uh, the Federal Reserve buying U.S. securities as of January of 2014, will be the last QE. Um, um, I understood that differently. I think it's not going to be $85 billion a year, but they're going to continue with the QE3 by pumping 70. They're going to drop it by $10 billion a month. I see. They're still going to be adding $75 billion into the economy. Again, all these billions of dollars makes the money that we already have worth less and less and less. Yeah. So thanks a lot for your comments. Um, apparently the police are leaving now, so... Uh, That's just it. They're not even police. What did you, you, a minute ago, you said something interesting, just doing my job uh, yeah. while you were being removed. Um, what were you trying to get at when you were just saying, just doing my job? We have a lot of people that are just doing their job. People concerned about themselves, which is fine. People should be concerned about themselves, but they're not looking at the big picture. These people are just doing their job, but they don't realize. A year from now, two years from now, five years from now, the very same institutions that have caused so much deceit, corruption, fraud, etc., could go steal their pensions and they could be working their whole lives only to find out when they retire, all that retirement is gone. Okay, thanks, Barry. Appreciate it.